Resolution 100946, authorizing a modification to an intergovernmental agreement with Metro for technical environmental analysis and public information services for the Lagos Rito Department Transit Corridor Project. Mr. Yes, once again, um, this is um, intergovernmental revenue, and to a large extent, TriMet is acting as the banker in the situation, which is a common role for us related to transportation projects in the region. Um, you might know by way of background, Dan Bond provided some general background on this uh, study and underway uh, at the last briefing. Uh, but this really emanated from a 1988 purchase by TriMet and many other local governments of the Jefferson Branch of the Union Pacific, uh, Southern Pacific at the time, um, that runs between Lake Oswego and the South Waterfront uh, District of Portland. Um, that, the purpose of that purchase originally was for uh, preservation of right away for public transit purposes. So what we have been underway with over the last few years, and now in a draft environmental impacts statement review with Metro, City of Portland, Lake Oswego, uh, and many others, uh, is a review of what the best alternatives are for that corridor and that piece of right away. Under evaluation are uh, there's a streetcar alternative extending the current uh, streetcar from the South Waterfront District to Lake Oswego, an all bus alternative that would improve your bus service on the border or no bill. And those are under evaluation in the draft environmental impact statement. Uh, when that work is completed, um, that decision will come in terms of the recommendation and the background and the information associated with the, the best kind of investment choice will come to you and many other involved boards for a recommendation of a local preferred alternative. We would expect that to be later this year, sort of towards the end of this year, uh, where what we call the locally preferred alternative, or LPA, would come in front of the board, obviously, Lake Oswego, City of Portland, uh, Petro as well. Uh, and that would be well vetted with Citizen Advisory Committee recommendations and, and many others. Um, so what this is, is really, um, additional study money associated with completing that work and getting it to that decision point. And so, again, this would uh, increase the IG intergovernmental agreement uh, that funds this work by $170,000 to, to complete the overall work program and get us through that, that uh, locally preferred alternative phase that we'll uh, be part of here in the future. Uh, again, no TriMet funds involved. We really are just the banker of this uh, case, and so we are uh, this would authorize that additional agreement. And I might note that the next resolution is also affiliated with this. Uh, but we really, uh, I'll at that point in time, describe the difference. But this one, this resolution is um, with technical services uh, for Metro, and yet the second one is for private consulting that uh, is selected competitively. So with that, I can't be answering questions. Questions of the gentleman. Mr. President, uh, I would like to, well, this would be going out of order, but I would like to hear his, the distinction of the difference between the two okay. before we I proceed. I think that's good. Yeah, we'll take them together. We have to do that. Uh, so, Resolution uh, Dash 47 uh, is a modification to the contract uh, for Shields Coldwich Johnson Point. Uh, SOJ provided for the overall. Uh, study phase, uh, project management and, and uh, community involvement uh, assistance and services related to that. Metro has been the technical advisor doing travel forecasts, uh, the environmental analysis, the coordination with the Federal Transit Administration who ultimately has to be the judge of the quality of the environmental work. Um, so uh, Metro has been sort of the environmental and informational consultant. Uh, SOJ has provided project management and public involvement guidance for the project overall. I may know that that is a little bit unusual for a TriMet based project, but it is, uh, SOJ has great experiences in, in the other streetcar related projects. That's why they were, they were selected competitively originally. Uh, and frankly, uh, our staff was fully, um, fully uh, full up, if you will, in terms of additional work. And so for this to move forward, we needed to find uh, additional assistance to help us with that. I hope that answers the question.